2019 now, and the World Health Organization isn't kidding around anymore. They are saying nobody, nobody under the age of 18 should even think about climbing into a tanning bed. The organization fears skin cancer among young women in particular could reach epidemic proportions. But George is standing outside with an eye doctor who says there are other reasons that you might want to fake faith. Right, George? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Kimberly Friedman, she is the president of the New Jersey Society of Optometric Physicians, is with me this morning. And you're not going to totally slam tanning beds, but you're saying that if you're going to get in these things, you need to protect your eyes, right? Absolutely. We see injuries every year from tanning beds and from the sun just tanning naturally, where we see sunburns to the front surface of the eye, and cumulative damage can cause cataracts, macular degeneration, skin cancers in and around the eye. So we're just trying to uh, give everybody the heads up that this time of year when you go back into the tanning booth, you have to be a little careful. Yeah, there are a lot of misconceptions. Uh, people talk about, hey, when I'm in the tanning bed, I close my eyes, so I'm protected, right? Right. Most common misconception that I hear. Actually, the UV damage can penetrate through the eyelid. The eyelid is not thick enough to prevent UV damage. So if you're going to be in a tanning bed, you have to do the goggles that help prevent the UV penetration into the eye. Now, the other thing that you're concerned about is just being out here in the sun. Uh, ideally, when you're in the sun, you should have your sunglasses on, right? Right. Any type of UV protection that you can uh, take, whether it be the goggles in the tanning beds or sunglasses when you're outside, it's an important step to ensure that you have good vision in your entire life. But do you see the same kind of damage when you see patients who've been in a tanning bed as those who've been out sailing or kayaking, for instance? Right. It's the same kind of damage. It doesn't matter whether the UV is coming from the tanning beds or whether it's coming from the, uh, from the sun. In fact, Sometimes it's worse from the tanning bed because the UVA concentration in the tanning beds can be up to 100 times that in the natural sun. So it can sometimes actually be worse from the tanning bed. So even if you're in there for just, a, I think, I think in some of these foods you're only in a maximum of 10 or 12 minutes, right? Right, but 10 and 12 minutes at 100 times the concentration could really equal a few hours out in the sun. All right, you sold me, Dr. Kimberly Friedman. Thanks for coming in.